And here we have one of the two very first 4Ks from Severn Films. It's Day of the Beast. This is directed by Alex de la Galicia. It's probably nowhere near what it's supposed to be, but it's what we're going with. So, nonetheless, I had never heard of this one. Uh, the packaging is cool, nonetheless. We'll get that out of the way. Nice little slip case for the 4K, and the 4K looks great. I'll try to put some stills in here for you. But it starts off with a preacher saying he has cracked the code, which apparently is for the end of the world. And he tells another priest, they're like, well, together we'll work this out. But bad things happen to one of the priests right at the start. So the other one continues to then proceed to go and do as much evil and bad stuff as he can do knowingly to try to get the devil to appear so he can kill him before the end of the world. So that's the basis of this one, which is batshit crazy, but it works. And as the movie progresses, it really seems like it, 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 it's a fun thing. It's, it's ridiculous at times. You know, he meets some other interesting characters like a TV like psychic guy that's like always got weird stuff on TV. He meets another like metalhead that's into the devil stuff, and they they try to use like all their means to to, to summon the devil or find the devil or whatever it is they got to do to make the devil appear, just so they can kill him and stop the end of the world. So, and then things happen and it goes to a certain point. And I like the fact that the movie kind of leaves everything open to interpretation because certain things happen in the movie, and you could say, well, that's legit happening, or maybe. Something else they done made them trigger and think they saw what what's going on. But it leaves some questions. It's fun. It, it's got some some nice little you know kills and stuff in at different times. It's it's a it's 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 different, and uh, that's hard to find. And this thing here, like I said, I've never heard of it. Uh, people that I've talked to say they love it, and now I, I say I, I enjoy it as well. And I'm giving it a four out of five. That's how much I did enjoy it. But uh, the 4K only has trailers in the, the movie in, in 4K. The Blu-ray disc has feature film in standard HD. Uh, Here's the Beast, feature-length making of documentary. Antichrist Superstar interview with director. Uh, the Man Who Saved the World interview with actor with Armando de Raza. I'm assuming that's probably one of the main three characters I was telling you about. Uh, Beauty and the Beast interview with actress Maria Garza Cucanoda. Totally not right for pronunciation. Shooting the Beast interview with director of photography. Uh, Mirandes Asana's short film by Alex, the director, that I ain't gonna try to pronounce his last name again. But like I said, this is from Severn. Switched over to their uh, MVD distribution. Oop, excuse me, there goes the cover. If you want to flip it, you get this alternate cover on the back. Good stuff all around. And like I said, I'll give it a, a 4 out of 5 because I really enjoyed it. It's better than I thought it would be. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the same director as, uh, I want to say The Circus or something like that. Like something that came out years ago that I watched and never thought of again after that till now. But he's got another movie that we're going to be reviewing here in a couple of days. Uh, that's also in 4K from Severn. But this one, to me, is the one. If you had to pick between them, this is the one you want to get. That's Day of the Beast. Devil stuff. But it's got comedy mixed in with it. So, there you go.